I am Dr. Nitin Yashas, Consultant Medical Oncologist and Hemato-Oncologist at Manipal Hospital, Sajapur. Today, I am going to be talking of one of the latest advances in cancer for the last few years, which has revolutionized treatment, immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is one of the newer treatments of cancer, which even won the Nobel Prize in the year 2019 and has completely changed the landscape of treatment of cancer, particularly stage 4 cancers. Immunotherapy activates the body's immune system to go and fight the cancer cells. Cancer cells express a protein on their cell surface, which prevents the immune system from going and attacking them. Immunotherapy are medicines which are given IV, that is to say intravenous and these medicines go and remove this block and helps the immune system to go and attack the cancer cells. In stage 4 cancers, that is to say cancer which has spread to different organs, a cancer which from one organ has spread to the liver, lung, bone and lymph nodes, we used to talk of survival to be a few months and sometimes a year depending from which organ it has spread and the biology of the disease. But with the advent of immunotherapy, all this has changed. Now in these advanced stage 4 cancer patients, even when it has spread to multiple organs such as the liver, lung and the bone, if immunotherapy works, we are able to see survival in terms of years. In a subset or a proportion of these patients, who respond very well to immunotherapy. When we do a scan to see the response, we sometimes do not see any evidence of the disease and it is these patients where we see survival in terms of years. Therefore, immunotherapy has dramatically changed survival in stage 4 patients, especially those who respond to treatment. Immunotherapy has now been approved for various indications. The most common cancers in which we use immunotherapy are lung cancer, kidney cancer, head and neck cancers that is to say cancers of the oral cavity and the throat, esophagus and stomach cancers. Immunotherapy is also approved in other types of cancers after we test the tumor block or the biopsy block for the expression of certain proteins known as PDL1 or the mismatch repair proteins. These days, Immunotherapy is not only used for stage 4 cancers, but is soon making its way into even stage 3 or stage 2 cancers, wherein certain cancers such as breast cancer and lung cancer, immunotherapy is now being used even before surgery to obtain better response and to shrink the disease. Previously, when immunotherapy was introduced and newly came in, we were using it more often in the second line or the third line setting after chemotherapy or other forms of treatments had failed or stopped working. In this setting, immunotherapy was being used as a single agent, meaning to say it was being given alone. But now, given the success of immunotherapy and based on many clinical studies and research data, Immunotherapy is being used in a first-line setting for many stage 4 cancers but in combination with chemotherapy or with other targeted agents which may be oral tablets or sometimes even IV therapy. Sometimes we combine two different types of immunotherapy known as dual immunotherapy or IO-IO combination to be given in stage 4 cancers. Unlike chemotherapy which has a lot of stigma and is associated with side effects such as nausea, vomiting, hair fall, immunotherapy has a very tolerable safety profile that we use it across all groups of patients and even in very elderly patients with tolerable side effects. Most of the side effects of immunotherapy come because the body's immune system is overactivated but again in a majority of patients they are manageable. In our experience, some of the most common side effects of immunotherapy that we see are alterations or disturbance in the thyroid function and skin rashes. In some patients, we may see even diarrhea, joint pains, but most of these are again well managed. Therefore, immunotherapy has a good safety profile. 